guys, this is Darryl with the Long Cat Services. I'll give you a quick review on both the mowers. I'm at a... Uh, turn it off. Turn it off. So guys, I'm going to give you a quick review on both the mowers right quick. Um, I'm at one of my commercial properties. I'm getting ready to cut it. So this is the Skag Freedom Z48. I took the uh, row bars off because I got flat surfaces here. I don't have heels. And um, it was kind of a hindrance, so I just took them off. I have them in the truck. I can always put them back on if I need to use them for something, but I have them. So guys, quick review, 48 inch Skag Freedom Z. Um, the machine, the first cut I did with it, it the cut looked kind of shabby. And then um, after that, I've been cutting with it and the cuts are coming out a lot smoother, so I don't know if it needed to break in with all the new parts and all, but now the cuts are looking smooth. You know, it's got, uh, I think, 2.6 hours on. I know I said the other day, like 13 hours. Okay, the hour meter's not on, long as the key's off. But it's got like 2.6 hours on it. Um, yeah, so I haven't really ran it a whole lot yet. But uh, I'm loving the machine. It's very, very comfortable. Um, cuts really really good um it's like i said the first cut was kind of kind of fuzzy kind of rough and then i cut again and it looked better and then i cut the last cut i cut with it it's it looks very smooth so it, i guess it took a little bit just to get uh, used to what i was doing the snapper did the same thing the first cut was kind of rough and then as i cut with it it smoothed it out it started cutting a lot better but um i'll get to that one after i finish it freedom z so on this mower you got a parking brake right here like when you get off of it you know you put the parking brake up so it can stay in place uh, you can release the brake so it can move um it's a 48 inch deck you see like i pictures don't even do this thing justice man this big heavy duty chain is holding this deck up um the deck is leveled as a hero deck commercial grade deck which, like I said, cuts really, really nice. Got your twin sticks, of course, for your forward and reverse. Um, the machine runs pretty, really, really smooth. It, like my old snapper, um, the big one that I had, it glid into the turns and all, and that's exactly what this one does. It glides into the turns. It doesn't uh, react as sensitive as this one. I'll, I'll talk about that one in a little bit. Um, yeah, the machine glides into the turn, so, you know, that's that's kind of how it it's engineered. It's not engineered to be herky-jerky, like my, my snapper is kind of herky-jerky, where it's instantaneous. When you hit the sticks, it, it reacts immediately. You know, these react, but they don't react as uh, quickly as that one does, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit. I still got the nipples, as they call it, on the tires. I haven't worn them down yet. Like I said, it's only got like two point, it said 2.6 hours or 2.4 hours. So it's not no hours on it. The machine is in really good shape. I paid about seven grand for it. So, you know, you, you get what you pay for, you know? So I bought this, I was going to get the snapper, but I decided to go with this because I felt this was more rugged. And as you look at it, look at this, this metal, all this metal bar, support bars and all they got, like, it's just rugged, man. This is made like a tank. Like I said, you can see the ruggedness of it with the steel that they put in here. And then you got shocks in here. You see the shocks? They got shocks in here to absorb the uh, pressure points. And then these two big old pumps. That's 2,800 pumps that they put on here for uh, for the wheel and the steering and all. And look, the, tag is, the tags are still on. I haven't even taken the tags off of it. The tags are still on it. So that's just how new the machine is. Like I said, man, this is well built. I got a seat belt on here as well. Right there, you can see it. I have, they came with armrest. I have armrests on here. I can flip them up if need be. The machine is very comfortable, drives very well. Got the Cola 7000 series, 24 horsepower machine. Uh, it sounds, it sounds like the Kawi to me. Um, 
it, it sounds just like the collie. When you rev it up and you run it, it sounds like the collie side of the um, It has a, a, a better air, air filtration system on it than the, than the collie does. So not as much dirt will get into the engine like the, the collie's air filter. So that's a, gotta be a plus. And you know, power and everything is, is still relatively really, really solid on this machine. You got the big, thick tires on it. This uh, gas tank holds about 6.5 gallons of gas. You know, my, my little beetle bug only holds like three gallons, but this is 6.5 gallons, so it can go a lot longer. Uh, does it drink gas? Uh, honestly, yes, it does. It drinks, it drinks gas, man. It does, it drinks gas. We have a deck release hatch right here. This latch here releases your deck. You put your foot on the foot pedal and you release the deck and then it, it, it falls into your cutting height. You see, I've been cutting at four inches, but I'm about to cut this place. I'm going to probably cut it at three inches over here. So you have that point. And yeah, man, I am, I am loving the Skag Freedom Z, man. It is an awesome machine, great purchase. Would I buy it again? Hell yeah, I would. Um, would I have bought the Snapper? Yeah, I would have bought the Snapper too. But we're gonna talk about that Snapper in a few minutes, in a few seconds, while I go over this one. And I'll, I'll show you some things on that. But I really, I'm really digging this machine, man. It's an awesome machine. Runs great, you know. Um, the only thing, only issue, that I may have, that I see I may have, is that uh, is that battery, because you know these things are packed in crates, and those batteries tend to get weak over time. And so in the beginning of it, when I was running it, um, the battery was was kind of a little hard to start because the battery was kind of weak, you know. But as I run it, the battery continues to charge up, and the battery is right right here. You take these two bolts and a battery sitting right there. So what I may do, I do have a battery charger. So I'm gonna put it on a battery charger and see if that helps it, you know, bring the battery back to life. If not, I'll just buy another battery. But that's the only the only issue I have with it. Also, if you buy one of these things from the dealer, man, check your tire pressure because I asked the guy specifically when we were when he brought it out there, did he check the tire pressure? And there's no knock on them, but you know, in, in a way it kind of is because when you're spending this kind of money, you don't want, you know, issues. You want everything to be, you know, what you're paying for because you're paying a premium price, okay? And so you say, yeah, the tires are good, this, that, and the third, you know? But overall, the sales experience was great. You know, they did a really good job of uh, selling me this machine and I'm, I'm, I'm glad I bought it. You know, there were bigger ones and I don't think I, if I'd have got a bigger one, I don't know if I'd have been able to get it into my trailer. But um, yeah, um, the tire pressure, check your tire pressure uh, before you uh, leave the dealership. We left the dealership and then my son had a pump and so we pumped them up. It was uh, only one tire was legitimate. All three of the other ones were down because when I was driving, it had a rock to it. And I'm like, nah, it's not supposed to be like that. So I'm gonna check the tire pressure, all three tire, all four tires, Three tires were low, one was only, only one was legitimate. When they stack in these crates and they leave from these factories, they sit, you know, and, and, and air pressure just like anything else, can, it drops if you don't check them regularly. But like I said, other than that, man, great sales experience. Will I buy from them again? Yes, I will. I probably will be back there next year, depending on uh, if I get any more contracts to probably, possibly get another machine, you know, so. That's what's going on. Like I said, I paid seven grand, seventy one hundred dollars for this one. Um, I, I, you know, it's a good price for me. You know, um, I figure in a couple months it'll be it'll be going because I talked to the people with the contract for the storage facilities that I got, and uh, everything's pretty much a go. I gotta uh, finalize the contract that I got. I got a two year agreement with them, so. God blessed me with that. And so when he blessed me with that, I had to go and get something like this. You know, I call these things dominating. So, you know, when they come out, they come out, they come out, they dominate. So, left about the good old Skag. But I, I love the machine. Would I purchase it? Yes, I would. All right, let's talk about the Snapper. This is the yearly review on the Snap. Okay, um, I think next month will be a year. I think I got it in April of last year. 
And this was a machine I had been chasing for two years before um, I was able to get it from the dealer that sold me the, the Skag. And, uh, and that's how they got me as a customer because they was able to get this thing that I had been chasing. And the one I had, and I had been chasing through multiple dealers that I couldn't get it, but they were the ones that were able to get it. So when they got this, they was able to get my business for that. And they probably will get my business for something else when I go back over there. But they sell a lot of steel, um, weed eaters and blowers and things of that nature. But I'm not too much of a steel fan, you know, when it comes to stuff, because I got friends with it and, uh, I would equip my brakes, but theirs tend to break more frequently, so I kind of stay away from them on that. I, I ride with a lot of Echo stuff, so basic stuff. You know, Echo tends to last the longest for me. So let's talk about the Snap. The Snapper um, has been a great mower uh, for this year. The only thing I had to change was the trans transmission belt because I was cutting some wild and out of control stuff. and. Um, it could have caused it to, you know, just break quicker than it would have normally have broken. But I got right now, I got 100 and 182 hours on it. And uh, man, this thing's still running. I changed the oil once. Briggs say change the oil every hundred, every hundred hours. So I've only changed the oil once. I have checked it every day before I use it, and the oil level has not moved since I, since I put the, uh, since I changed it. So man, that's, they, they are correct on that. You change the oil every, every 100 hours on this thing. It can go 100 hours easily and you won't have to worry about the oil. But I check it every day before I, before I uh, use it because you never know, it could have something happen inside the engine that will cause something to happen. So yeah, um, this is my 36. It's, of course, it's a smaller machine than a 48. But it's a smaller machine and it cuts really, really well. Like I said, the first cut was um, the first cut was uh, kind of rough, and then after that, it started smoothing out, just like the Skag. For some reason, those first cuts don't look as sharp and as fresh. But then after you use it for a while, they kind of they, 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 the cuts start coming together. They start looking really good. So on my Snapper, like I said, at 100 right now at 182 hours on it and. I changed that transmission belt at 176 hours. So it went 176 hours before that, uh, before that broke on me, and that was because I was doing too much with it. But other than that, if I was cutting regular yards, it, it, I probably wouldn't have had to replace that. But I did it, you know, and they took care of it. No big deal. So it drives great. It's the the sticks are very very responsive on the 36. Like it turns instantly. Now I had a big snapper in the past. Uh, and it turned smooth. It didn't jack. You know, when it turned, it turned smooth like the skag. It just glides right into the turns. As where this thing reacts, the, the, it's very, very sensitive. You have to be very careful or you'll dig a rut in the yard real easily with the tires because the tires are, are very narrow on this machine. But it runs and cuts great. It is a uh, 19 horse, I think. 19 horsepower Briggs. The engine is great great power doesn't bog down much at all handles high grass like it's no tomorrow but you know from a movement standpoint and jamming it into cutting the high grass you know you may have to worry about that transmission belt because it has to push the machine not only has to push the machine into there to cut the grass but it's 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 fight it's pushing down the high grass in the process of that so that takes a lot of strength to do that and it puts a lot of stress on the belt. But this is the uh, 36 inch snapper. It's got two blades underneath. Um, that's a three gallon gas tank, the battery and all. Very, very simple to control. Um, got springs for the seat, which is comfortable, but it's not as comfortable as the Skag. The Skag feel like you're getting in a Cadillac or something. And this thing feels like you're getting into a, a, a I guess you could say a Toyota, which, you know, runs good. But if you, you know, you may run across some points where it might be a little bumpy depending on the situation, but it's very comfortable, but it's not as comfortable as this thing. This thing is real comfortable. And, you know, this is an awesome feeling, man. I got both these machines and, you know, I'm, I'm happy to talk about them because, you know, at one point, man, I didn't have, I didn't have any of it, but I'm very, very thankful and appreciative. So like I said, it's a three gallon gas tank on this one. Um, 
They don't have a gas gauge. You can look at it and see where the gas is. It's pretty full. And uh, yeah, man, it's like I said, you just check the oil every, every time out. You know, when you come out the cup before you start your day, you check the oil. And that's what I do on both of them. And like I say, this thing, the oil, we change that every 100 hours. And um, every 100 hours, we change the oil on this one. And I'll check it every day before I uh, come out to cut, and the oil has not moved. It's still in the same position it's been in. You know? And um, I'm getting close to that hour mark again, so I'll probably change it again uh, prior to that. But machine runs great, man. I, I, I have no complaints. The little machine got me through last season. And it's still running good. And um, hopefully I can get more life out of it, more years to come. It was a 30, what was it? I paid $3,200 for that machine. So it's it's held up well for, you know, that amount of money that I paid for. And I was going to get his cousin. But in the process of getting his cousin, I got this guy, which was about three grand more. But you see how the ruggedness of this machine versus getting that other machine. And you see the build quality of this machine with the heavy duty things they put on it to make sure that, you know, uh, nothing goes wrong with it. So, and that's what I was impressed with. So that's why I got the Skag and I love my snapper and it's good for my residential stuff, my little small yards. But this thing, you know, it's gonna be cutting those commercial properties. And so that's what I primarily got it for. And um, I, I look forward to using it for that. I could have got uh, the Patriot, which was a little bigger than this one. It was a 52, but I, I didn't think I was going to, I thought about the weight and how much I was going to carry and what, what I was going to do. And this thing is where it's about 750 pounds. That Patriot's about 900 pounds. And that's not counting uh, somebody sitting on it. So you got to think, you know, um, you only can haul around so much weight, you know, before something gives or goes wrong. So 750 is not too bad. But uh, this one's about, this machine itself is about 500 pounds. It's about 500 pounds for this machine here. But this is 750, so it's not too bad. But like I said, that Patriot was 900 pounds. And I'm thinking I had to haul that around. That would have been, wow. It 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 would have been insane. So yeah, guys, this is my quick review on my uh, two machines that I got. I love them. Um, if you want to buy one, I would suggest you get one. You know, um, for if you got commercial property or big properties, uh, this guy will definitely get it done. That guy can get it done too. It's going to take you longer, but this guy definitely gets it done. All right, guys, I'm sorry for holding you up on this video. I know it took a little time to do this video. Um, I wanted to do it because I got uh, have some friends on here that uh, that's really interested in the machine, and I'm, I'm really happy with it. I wish those guys lived down here. I'd let them demo it and ride on it and see how they feel about it so they could give their opinion of it you know my opinion of it is one thing but when your friends ride on it and you know they give their opinion you know that's valuable too you know and um man hey i love it man i love the machines and um i love what i do and i'm just glad that you know that i've uh that hey god's brought me this far he's still bringing me you know like i say next year we may go get another machine and you see me out here videoing uh doing another uh a video for another one so i know it's kind of long man but i wanted to get this video in and i wanted to show you guys the equipment but yeah this is this is what's up man um i've been blessed in the business and things have been going great and uh, i was able to get these two guys over the with over a two-year period you know and next year uh hopefully we can get another mower another riding mower um I'm thinking about getting one for my son, so he's gonna take over some of the other properties. So we'll we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know, we gotta get a trail and all that together, but we'll do that. So I love you guys. I thank you guys for uh subscribing to the channel. I thank you guys for following me on this journey, man. It's it's been a long journey, you know, and I, I can't think of uh I remember when this this journey started, you know, way back in 06, man. It's and it just grew, you know, from there over the years, man. So I love you guys, and I will catch you on the next one. This is the reviews of the Skag uh, Freedom Z48 and the Snapper 360Z36. Love you guys. I will catch you on the next one. Peace out.